we're gonna do something a little different today. We got George from Jig Pro, and uh, he's gonna teach us how to do slow pitch jigging in super deep water. We're in, uh, I think a thousand feet of water. No, I'm sorry, 1,500 1, feet of water. So pretty excited, pretty excited right? man. Uh, so what's the uh, what's the deal here? What do we gotta do? So we are gonna try something pretty extreme here. So this is not your typical slow pitch jigging. So we're going for the really extreme stuff to begin with. Yep. I think it's quite fun. So we're gonna drop in. We're gonna be dropping these long, skinny jigs to 540 gram. 540 gram jigs to rip through the water column. We wanna be targeting bottom species. Queen snapper, mystic grouper, what else is here? Everything. Everything. Who right? knows? Yeah. It's the ocean, bro. Who knows? So, uh, using super thin line. We got a pen uh, torque 25 narrow with 15 pound dirt braid. The line and the rod and the jig is going to allow us to fish the bottom comfortably for a long period of time. And hopefully, one of those like big groupers or big queens is hit the jig and you know, we have a blast. Let's go, bro. So we finally go to the spot, the boat just stopped. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the jig in the water. Before I drop it, I wanna keep my thumb on the spool and slowly I'm gonna let go. My goal is to make sure that jig is falling down straight. If I let go of my thumb like this, the jig is gonna start flattening. You see how just start jumping up and down? I don't want that. I want the jig to fall down as quick as possible. It's 1,400 feet of water. So it's gonna take about three or four minutes to get down. And, and yeah, keeping the tension on this pool is key. Now, uh, after I drop uh, for a couple minutes, then Josh is gonna drop here, and then I believe Jake is gonna drop next to me. So we try to drop at different times so we don't get all tangled, okay? And uh, once I hit bottom, I'll show you. We got Turner here, Tifu. We got Don up there, there he is right there. Look at that man right there, he's ready to go. We got Josh over here, and we got Logan up at the front. And there's Jake Jorgensen, folks. Right there. Yeah. A little bit of brotherly love. The finally. man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> he thought I was going to forget him. I wasn't going to forget him. You always do. <laughs> I'm just way, because it's a long way. Logan is an absolute expert at deep dropping. Yeah. George is an absolute expert at jigging. We're going to find out, do I fish like jigs more, or do they like bait? It's electric versus jigs. Three okay. of you guys got to beat the electric man over there. I just hit bottom first thing. I'm going to come tight and I'm just gonna crank about 10, 20 cranks. I'm gonna pick up all the slack on my line. Remember, my jig is so far away from me. I wanna be as connected as possible with that jig, and now I'm gonna redrop. So what that's gonna do is to bring the, it's gonna bring the jig right below me, and I can stay straight up and down as I can. Once I hit bottom again, I just hit bottom again. Now I'm gonna start fishing, and it's called slow jigging. So it's all about this very slow movement we're targeting bottom species, so I want to keep my jig as close to the bottom as possible because those fish that we're trying to catch are going to be on the bottom. What's crazy right now is we actually have over a quarter mile of line in the water, each of us. It's incredible. Did you all combined have a probably a mile of line in the water? So he decided to drop. He decided to drop a uh, slow pitch jig at 1,500 feet, and now he's hooked up on the bottom, not midway up, not halfway up. Yeah, let me know. It's a good fish. He's gonna need a nap after he gets this fish up from 1,500, bro. I'm impressed though. Come on, baby, let's go. Today's about you. Yeah! yeah. Left handed real, bro. I this remember my first time fishing. Gotta get tough enough. Did you feel like a mystic? No. I'll tell you what, my, my arms are already burning. I'm gonna have to pass it to Don. Hold on, ready? Hold on, here we go. Here's the pass. So we're on 1,500 feet. It's four feet per crank. With my calculations, that's 400 cranks. <laughs> Dude, I paid 400 cranks and like I, someone else was in here. You want me to take it? Yeah, you want to take it? I, hey, we, we can all take turns. We can all take turns. Wait, I mean, it's not exactly IGFA wait, wait. rules, but like... Bro, 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 wait, hold on. I thought oh, you, you were like the man, bro. He is the man. I am the man. I'm, I'm just, I'm sharing the love, Josh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Whoa, he's pulling, he's pulling. Ah! Jake, 10 pound test, 10 pound test. Keep it tight, Keep it tight. Don't get eaten. Keep it tight. No, that, that, you don't reel like a girl. Real fast, yeah. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with it. All right, Don, we need some serious commentary here. Hey, did you just identify the You were really like, I was yeah, like, well, yeah, we I got, got 1,500 feet idea. down in, you know. Jake, keep, keep the line tight, bro, line tight. It is tight. You're leaving slack in the line. All right. All right, I'm you ready? Got it, Oh! Dude, line tight, man. 
I mean, if Turner could just touch the rod, it would be nice. There, nice. there we go. Good, good team effort. Dude. <laughs> Whatever IGFA record we're about to break. This fish is going to set the day, I think. I think so. Could be something I cool or it could be like a <laughs> sail <laughs> cat. Yeah. I, see the fish. I see it. Do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. What is it? Turner, get the gap. It's, it's a freaking. It's a queen, queen, bro. It's a queen, oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Nice queen. Nice queen. Nice. Nice, nice queen. queen. Woo. Nice. Look at that. That thing awesome. looks like a goldfish. Little, uh, yeah, it's a goldfish, bro. Dude, I caught one away with Dave. It was 25 pounds, bro. Really? Yeah. These are so good eating. That thing's oh my probably gosh. like five pounds, though, right? Turner, you gotta touch it. Could you touch the rod? Okay. Everybody touch the fish, bro. It's a big goldfish. Put my hand in its mouth. Yeah. Lip it, lip it. <laughs> Don's hooked up. So Don's hooked up on the Hooker Electric, the 30 wide. Is it? I'm gonna say it's gonna be a Mystic Grouper. Really? Oh, that's what I'm thinking, Mystic Grouper. What do you think, Don? No, another queen. Another queen? I'm gonna say that weird fish. That scum rub. What is it? Scum rub. Scum, 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 scum something. What's it called? Scum rub. S C O M B R O P. Robert. I see the fish. I see the fish. Here it is. 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 What is that, dude? Two queens. Are they both queens? Oh, no, that's not a queen, bro. Oh, what is that, so, dude? So okay. Get that queen, Don. Yeah. What the heck? Look at this thing, dude. Look at that queen. Dude, that's a that's a 10 pounder almost, dude. We're actually up two now. Big old silky. That's like that is a giant silky. Double the size that we're used to catching. Are they good eating? Good eating. Big old goldfish. Queens are delicious. Dude. You think he can see at night or what? When you're dropping down an electric reel with a weight this big, you want to really make sure that everything's safe. So the first thing you want to do is put the bait in the water, the hooks, make sure there's no tangles. And the reason why you want to put them in the water like that is if they're in the boat and you throw the weight in the water, it could grab your hand, it could grab your clothes, and you're going to be miserable. You want to have a little bit of tension in the beginning just so it doesn't backlash. The rig's ready. Make sure there's no tangles, and then throw the weight. Dropping down more. There's bottom. Got a bite. Logan's got a bite. Thawing out, man. Come on, 20 pound queen. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey, bottom's really nice right now, guys. Yeah? Oh, yeah. This is it right here. I'm dropping down right now. A lot of you guys say this is cheating, but the reality is you only got so many of these in a day before your arm falls off. So this is saving your arm for later. That's what, that's what this is. It's the real deal, dude. Real deal, I can feel the weight. Uh, we're 300. 300 oh, no. rotations. We got to, oh, he's got the gap. He, he knows, he knows. He's stalling the near, oh, he's, st look, he's still fighting, bro. I don't think it's a grouper. No, I don't think it's a grouper. Look, look how hard he's fighting. Oh my God. I see color, 92 rotations. Don, Donnie, boy. All Don, right, Donnie, let's go. Yeah, it's just actually a, a slow pitch reel, like a mini version of the electrics we're using on there. We're hooked up to a battery pack down here. When you're in 1,500 feet of water, just made it a lot easier, especially with some of the slower retrieve rates that work great in 200 feet. At 1,500 with a lot of scope, not so much, so. We got a fish. What is it? Black queen. What is that? Black queen. Black queen. Black queen. Black queen. Black queen. Put him in. What is that thing? You got it? I think you're oh my gosh. Good. I think it's like a dog tooth tuna, tuna so bro. Look at that. I don't, think I, could have I don't even know what this is. I mean, it looks like a ladyfish and a queen snapper and a dog tooth tuna had some fun together. Yeah. Guys, I, so, I don't think I'm tangled up with you. No, dude. no, you got something, dude. I, I was the first one out and I was fishing a lighter jig, so I'm further out. I think we're on a fish, but maybe I'll be mistaken. Don's got a fish. He's been lucky all day with the electric reels. This will make you uh, three, three fish in a quarter. Hey, Don, how many rotations are you at? 170, right? You're getting close. Well, it's meters, so it's probably 500 feet. I'm gonna put this fish in here. Just so you, you know, Don, it does have a handle on it. You know that, right? I, I'm, I'm cranking away. <laughs> Is it called phantom okay. cranking? 30 meters. All right, Don, let's go, let's go, let's go! I see it! What is it? It's a fish. Black queen. Black queen. Black queen. Oh, on the jig, bro. Look at that, black queen. Nice. Oh, yeah, baby. On the jig. Wow. <laughs> George, is that the first one of those you've ever seen on the jig? Yes, sir. That's where, I mean, that's an epic fit for a jig. That's Very awesome. Epic. Gone, no? Man, in this kind of depth, this was money. That was money? Yeah. <laughs> so this is, guys, this is a 400 gram jig that we drop in about 1,500 feet of water. So I changed the jig shape for him because we were using the longer shape. 
uh, to try it out. So this is a, a little wider shape. So it took longer yeah. to get down. But once you go down, once you got down, that flutter crushed. just made it. Yeah. I'm like, look at how cool that fish is. I still can't pronounce the name properly. I think it's scum brop. Scum brop. S C O M B R O P. They're uh, supposedly they're like in the gnome fish family. But I've never caught them under 1,300 feet of water, all the way on the bottom. They got big old eyes on them, just like a queen snapper. I don't think they can, you know, they don't get any light down there ever, because they never come shallower than I have seen them 1,300 feet of water, Josh. But you know what? You know what? Like I said in the, earlier, they look like a, a ladyfish and a queen snapper and a dog two tuna had a baby. All in one. Yeah, all in one. If you get that fish up close, you can see his teeth. And uh, usually you get cut off because their their teeth are sharp. You know. Ooh, get a bite. Get a bite. You're gonna bite. You're gonna bite. Come on. Come on. Turner, Turner, he's getting a bite. Turner, you're getting, Turner, get over here. Oh! oh nice. Dude, the bottom's looking good right here. Oh my! Is that him? This could be my biggest age. You know, 20, 22 pounds, I think he was. And I was actually gonna do a bone mount of his head because that, that the teeth and the whole face on him is just like nothing you've ever seen. Like Josh had said, I've never seen a fish like this in my life. Oh my gosh, dude, he's fighting, bro. Dude, that's a fish, bro. That's the best one. This is your yet. fish, bro. It's your fish, dude. No, dude. Turner, you're doing good, bro. Fish on! Fish on! Oh! Fish. Oh! oh, he's got him! Oh, that's, that's a good fish! For one second. And it's not a workout here, but like, I swear, every time that you get a bite on the jig, in this depth, I mean, he feels like... What is like it? You, fish, you fish, 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 fish! Hey, Here's hey, there he is, there he is, there he is. What is it? Black one? Yes, bigger one. Bigger one! one. Right up and through. Oh, that's a go. nice one, dude. Yeah. They both have equally sized eyes, similar placement. This one actually looks more like a ladyfish, though, like like, like your scum brop. Dude, the teeth on that are insane. His eyes are bigger for his body. It's unbelievable. I mean, that, that's a crazy fish, dude. I didn't even know those existed until today. He's right. I'm excited. Both deep water snapper, fish. Everything yeah. from the deep tastes good. Bro. Everything from the deep, Everything deep, deep tastes, tastes good. Right. All right, guys, this fish is almost here. A couple hundred feet. He's just fighting a lot more now. He just saw the light. You gotta think about this. This is pretty cool. Like, these fish have never seen the light in their lives. I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Any catch in 1500 feet of water on a jig, it's a cool catch. So, yeah, I see it. Big, 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 like big, bro. Big, big, big. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Really nice. Really nice. Really nice. It's a tuna. I told you. It is a tuna. Is wow. A tuna. Wow. Wow, dude, you called that, bro. That's incredible. Right there. Look at that. Oh, Blackfin tuna. Away. Look at that, dude. In All right. 100 feet of water. Jordan 15 Jordan. on the bottom, 1,500 yeah, feet of water, blackfin shot, tuna. Dude. That's the first time I've ever seen that. And you called it, dude. Good job. Yes, sir. That's crazy. That's pretty cool. All right, pretty cool. Still, so, every fish in 1,500 feet of water is a good fish. You never know where you're going to catch in deep water. Beautiful. That was nice. Hey. I've never heard of oh, George, it sounds like, yes, like you've done this George, before. you know the winning lottery numbers, do you? <laughs> I'm getting bites, getting bites. I think so, dude. The last time Don oh, came out with us, I made the incredible decision not to put fuel in the boat, and one of the engines ran out of fuel. That, was, uh, that was a special trip, wasn't it? That was, that was good. There was nothing quite like motoring in from 16 miles out at like 300 RPM. It was, <laughs> it was nice, It right? was awesome. Hey, it was quality bonding time. It was for like six hours. <laughs> nah, it wasn't that long. Nah, it was like three. But we went back out and, and we, caught a, we caught some fish on the bottom. We did. The first drop of the day, George hooked a beautiful queen snapper and he just teased us all. I think he's holding back some secret samurai techniques he, that-, that uh, Jig ninja stuff us. that he's hiding from us. You know, he, he did it when the camera wasn't looking. 300, Not 300, me. 300 cranks. Could be two, I don't know. Looks like a nice one. I don't know what it is. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. John, this is oh, that, dude, that's a giant, bro. Oh my gosh. It's a monster, bro. Look at the eyeballs, dude. Guys, okay, so this is normal. The eyeballs, because we brought him up from 1,500 feet, his eyeballs, uh, as they came up, they just expanded and they got a little big on him. Um, you can see his stomach in his mouth, but that's a really good eating fish. We're not gonna let him go. We're gonna eat him. It's gonna be delicious. It is. Guys, we had a great time fishing with Don, Tifu, and George from Jig Pro. If you guys ever want to go slow pitch jigging, make sure to check out Jig Pro. Link in the description below. Follow them on social media as well. They have some of the top end quality gear. As well, guys, this is going to be one of Josh's last episodes for a little bit as he's going for surgery. 
So I want you guys to keep him in your prayers, send him wishes for a fast, speedy recovery so we get him back on the show. And guys, any of the cancer gear on our website, that goes directly towards Josh and his family. So we appreciate you guys grabbing some of that merch. It means a lot to his family, to our family, and the entire business. And guys, we wanna say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.